Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Martz and Freedom the Parrot. Hey, Freedom. Okay, guys, so Freedom is out on his play stand. And I'm moving it around the living room when he's out. I don't always keep it in the same place. That way he can look at different things. You know, we've got lots of pictures on the wall. Mostly birds. Some other animals. Hey, Freedom. But this area, I call this the espresso bookcase, which I have not dusted, by the way. But um, this way, Freedom... And everybody should do this. It doesn't matter if you have a, a cat, a dog, but especially a parrot. Parrots can see all colors. And so you should get your bird used to stepping up and just get a, a tiny... Uh, you can even get those little wooden play stands for the super small birds and, and bring them in by the kitchen. Now, remember the rule. I should... No, let me say don't bring them in the kitchen. No, no hot stoves. Um... No open toilets. I know it sounds funny, but it's not. You got to keep your lids down. You got to make sure all doors are closed. I mean, you have to be. If your bird is fully flighted, even if your bird has clipped wings, remember a bird can fly straight. It, they can't necessarily get too much lift if the, if the wings are clipped, but they can they can fly down. So you have to really be on the ball, no matter what. You should always know where your bird is. Um, but I was mentioning because they can see all the different colors. And I think, I don't know if it's all birds can see the ultraviolet lights, but um, by bringing them into different rooms, you know, that are safe, again, make sure there's nothing on, like a ceiling fan, that type of thing, uh, they can have a different experience and feel really good. Right, Freedom? Okay, little parrot. All right, guys, we're signing off live from Hilton Head Island with Freedom the Parrot, a Panama Amazon, 22 years old. Have a great day.